This video is going to show finding a memory leak with JProfiler and a little Java program. I made a little program called Memory Leak here. It has two classes, General Class and Memory Leak. Um, general Class is just going to be a chunk of um, just user-defined class, um, make some objects of it. It's just a couple ints and a string, a couple strings. And then the other class is our main class, Memory Leak. And we're going to loop through, allocate some memory, and then the way we're going to leak it is there is a hash map member variable, and we're going to put um, our objects in here and never release them, never let the garbage collector um, clean them up. We're always going to have a reference to them. So we can start profiling this with JProfiler by choosing Profile. This is integrated into IntelliJ. And you can start recording um, your memory allocations right away on startup, or you can start it any time during your program execution. So we're going to start at the beginning because we know we're going to be leaking memory right away. And the first thing you do when you're looking for a memory leak is to look at the telemetry view and see if your memory is going up. In our case, it is. So that's just going to continually climb. Now we're going to go to our memory view. We're going to look at our recorded objects tab on the bottom. And we see we have three, three suspicious characters, but let's start seeing the difference here. Um, this shows what has been allocated since we clicked that Mark Current button. You can see the difference here. Every iteration we have about 5,000 objects we allocate. So you can see that going up about 5,000 every time. And we have a hash map entry, we have a long, and this user-defined general class. So let's go look at the, <coughs> the heap stack. Um, you can take a snapshot of the heap by right-clicking on and choosing Show it in HeapWalker, or also up here you can choose Show in HeapWalker. And we're going to choose our recorded objects. Let's go back to the start so we can see everything. Again, we have 150,000 objects of these. And you can see all three of them here. So down here, there's a great biggest objects view. This is calculating it right now. You can see that right there. And we see our class memory leak has about 10,000 kilobytes here. And we can see the hash map and the entry. And there's more instances in here, and the way we can get to those is right-click on it and choose Retained Items. This takes a minute. Or, you know, a few seconds. And now we can choose the classes um, or the actual allocations. Classes just shows you the type. And allocations, we're trying to get to actual code where these um, allocations are happening. So that would be the one you want to choose. And up here we can see the call stack. Here's our main and the leak memory method and the set reference. And we can see, oh, there's a hash map put and there's the long and general class. We can actually go right where that put is happening if we choose show source. And go down to IntelliJ. And here it is, highlighted, set reference, put, and it's not ever being released, so it's never being garbage collected, and that's our error. That's our memory leak. So I hope that was helpful, and if you have any questions, let me know.